Okay, everyone. Uh, good morning again, and welcome to this foundation course on ITIL, IT service management version four. You actually see some logos here, people cert, Axelos. Axelos is the owner of ITIL. Mm -hmm. They are a British company, whereas uh, people cert is the exam body. So they are the ones who offer the the exam, they administer the exam. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to do your exams uh, through people cert. Okay, so moving on about trainings direct. We are accredited. We are authorized to teach uh, several courses uh, on behalf of Axelos, like ITIL, all the levels of ITIL, whatever has been published so far by Axelos. And also, they have other courses like PRINCE2, Project in Controlled Environments. Um, we are licensed for that also. And we also offer other uh, courses like Project Management Professional, uh, Quality Management courses, and other technical courses and in different formats, e-learning, classrooms, online, and so on. And as you see below, we also have other technical courses like DevOps and even um, Amazon Web Services. This is about myself. I've been in the industry for almost 25 years, and I've been into teaching and education in the last five years. I'm a certified trainer. When I do classrooms, uh, I do some activities as a certified uh, person because it's good to have some fun in a classroom. In online, it'll be less, but there will be interaction. There'll be some exercises and please feel free to um, provide your own experiences. And sometimes I'll be asking you some questions. So I worked with uh, different countries, though I have lived mostly in India. And uh, I've been a project manager and program manager, so I teach those uh, subjects also. So at any point in time, please feel free for asking any questions. You can also chat me if you think yeah, you're more comfortable chatting. I will watch the chats also. So the program uh, goes through introductory stuff, first of all. So you've got um, introduction to what uh, the whole thing is, the ITIL and the key concepts of uh, service management then the four dimensions the four dimensions is one of the core areas of ITIL 4 and then guiding principles there are seven of them and then there's a service value system so number three and number five are the two core things within ITIL everything in ITIL 4 is based on the item number three and five the four dimensions and service value system therefore ITIL guiding principles is one of the components of the service value system similarly there are many other components within the service value system for example number six also continual improvement is also part of the service value system so today we're going to learn today and tomorrow we're going to cover completely about the service value system and the four dimensions then we've got number seven practices these are uh, previously these were known as processes in version 3 but they have been reworded to practices and we will see also what they mean really therefore practices is also one element of the service value system so you've got principles practices improvement these are the three components of the svs there are two more components there which we will touch upon afterwards there are three types of practices general management practices service management practices there are many of them so we split them here and we have got technical management practices so these are the three types of practices but we have got several practices to cover today and tomorrow we have got so most of the exam is around these practices there are 15 practices to be covered and uh, more than 50 percent of the marks are assigned to the practices and the remaining 50 percent or so are assigned to the remaining uh, topics here so therefore, most of tomorrow will be um, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So technical management is the last uh, category of practices. Uh, so today, during the program, we will also do some quiz questions. There are some quiz questions within these slides, and I'll be also showing you some more quiz questions, official quiz questions from Axelos. And tomorrow, at the end, um, this is an additional bonus for you. Uh, we will be sending this to you. Uh, and then you can practice it on your own. We'll be sending you two question sets and uh, 
we can practice them both but today we'll be practicing at least one question set today and tomorrow in bits and pieces okay then uh, And just one more thing, there will be some breaks uh, every now and then. We will do some quick breaks at the end of each section. And we may have a longer breaks for your, for your uh, lunch breaks and so on. Introduction. So once again, a uh, little more clarity on the agenda and all that. Uh, the whole program is, uh, as you know, two days uh, based on uh, good practices followed by several corporations. The ITIL has actually originated from best practices and good practices from several organizations and uh, normally when we do classroom sessions we have got um, more group discussions and um, group practicing the questions together uh, here it will be a little different in the online mode and we try to make it interactive and interesting About the exam, it's a one hour exam, the foundation level, 40 questions. So you've got more than one minute per question approximately and 26 to pass. It's a medium challenge. You have to recall the terms. You have to understand the terms. These are the only two things uh, for you. There is no application of the concepts, no analysis because application and analysis happens at the higher levels. In fact, at the higher levels, there is only application. There is no detailed analysis also required. And, and of course, there is an invigilator, sorry. And uh, it may be a good idea to look at uh, the uh, official paper, how it looks like, just quickly. Just to give me a moment. Um, So this is a foundation exam sample paper. So if I go through this, the same thing here, one hour, 40 questions. Your exam will be online, of course, and it's all multiple choice. So there's only, if you look at number two, there's only one correct answer per question. There is no negative marking. It's a closed book exam. And uh, uh, when you are writing the exam at a center, then they give you a paper. You have to mark the answers on a paper. Therefore, you have number four. But in this case, you won't have the number four applied. And you see the questions are like this. All multiple choice. Question number one, four options. And one of them will be the correct answer. So this is, this is the most common type of question. Sometimes you have some questions which may have uh, fill in the blanks. So if you look at, for example, I have scrolled to number seven, identify the missing words in the following sentence. So in this sentence, you have a question mark somewhere in the middle and you have to fill in the blanks. So this is another type of question. So there'll be very few questions of this type to fill in the blanks. And then you also have a last type of question where uh, you may have to pick more than one option for the correct answer. So let me show you that type of question also. There are very few questions like this, maybe just uh, two of them. So if you look at question number 36, there are four options given here and the answer is a combination of two options. So if you look at A, one and two, B, two and three. So this is the third type of question. So in all, you will have 40 questions. So that's the brief about the foundation exam so today we are at the foundation level at the top and you got um, the next level which is managing professional to go to managing professional you need to clear four certifications as you see here these are specialists three of them specialist the first three and the fourth one is strategist if a person is already holding V3 certifications, if for example, they are having V3 intermediate or expert, the, depending on how many uh, credits they have with them, they can directly write one single exam. That exam is known as managing professional exam. It's like a bridging exam. 
no need for writing these four exams to get this MP certification. But if you're starting fresh, then you'd have to go to all these four and then get the MP certification. And by the way, we have trainings going on for uh, all these four every month. We've got live trainings online for all these uh, ones here. If you look at ITIL strategist here at the bottom, uh, this one, direct plan and improve, it's showing in the, the next section also. So the direct plan and improve is common to the managing professional as well as strategic leader. So one, two, three, and then strategies, then again strategies, so this is common. And uh, this is a very recently published one. Um, the exam is not ready yet from Axelos. It's going to be coming out in August, September this year, 2020. And then um, this is the, the latest one which is coming up. So strategic leader could be more for more senior people like uh, senior management. And uh, these are for professionals from different uh, areas of work. So that's how it is structured. I'm actually certified in uh, this also, create, deliver and support and high velocity IT and direct plan and improve. I'm certified in all the three and I plan to do the remaining also. Okay. So more clearer picture about the certifications. Easy to uh, understand this one. So as I was telling you, we've got uh, foundation and then we've got the set of four for MP and we have got the set of two for the set of two for the strategic leader. And uh, if you hold V3 certifications, you could write the single exam depending on how many points you have from V3. And uh, eventually I tell master, the master is not just an exam. There are, uh, there's a workshop and uh, interview panel and all that to become master. This is a method of education and testing. So all you have to know, if you look at this Bloom's taxonomy, if you look at the bottom two in the pyramid, remember and understand. The foundation exam is based fully on the remembering and the understanding of concepts. The foundation exam doesn't go into application, analysis, evaluation and creation yeah, or into those areas. If you were to write the, the advanced level exam, there'll be application of the concepts. And uh, at the master level, there are the analyze, evaluate and create things. So this gives you a, a view of uh, all what we're going to learn. So we've got the concepts, service management concepts, and four dimensions. If you see at the towards the right bottom, four dimensions is uh, another core area. Then the service value system. So these are the two core areas of ITIL four, and within the service value system, we have got the guiding principles. We have got the practices. We have got continual improvement and we have got two more things. These are known as governance and uh, service value system. I'm just going to pause here in case anybody has any questions or comments before we get into the topic. Okay. Okay, thank you. Here we begin with the IT service management in the modern world. The word service may bring a lot of uh, thoughts into your mind. We all experience services in our life, in our office, in our personal lives. Still uh, significantly from the traditional days. I come from the old world, maybe. And uh, I've seen a lot of changes coming, uh, come in at least faster in the last uh, four to five years. For example, you see here cloud computing, IAAS, machine learning, blockchain, internet of things, artificial intelligence and so on. So how do we really handle all this in service management? How do we take benefit of those technologies? Yeah, so service management is not about technology, but as you know, everything is based on technology nowadays. And IT is a core 
is the foundation no companies are able to live without having some kind of it in their uh, environment those who do not have it are lagging behind even the small vendors street vendors also rely on mobile apps and some kind of connectivity yeah, so it is uh, has become important or mandatory so this is an evolving subject and i would like to ask you actually uh, in terms of um, services you know what kind of uh, things come to your mind when i say services any examples of services and either of you can speak it could be it services it could be non it services for example going to a restaurant is a service uh, replacing a router or yes correct placing a router yeah because somebody uh, has asked for it or maybe there is a problem and we want to replace it that's a good example thank you just an overview of vital it's a guidance for how to manage services in the digital economy nowadays you hear words like digital transformation digitization digital technology what are these and it's an uh, if you look at point number 2 it's a uh, this one operating model every organization or company requires some way to operate they may have a business process or a business systems they may have a top management middle management and then technical experts and so on they need some kind of a mechanism to run the business so itil4 provides a mechanism to run the business based on it uh, to create products to create services to deliver services to maintain services and because only then the company's business strategies will be productive they will yield uh, the value they will yield the outcomes they will yield the results and uh, you would have heard about other terms like lean agile devops at the foundation level we won't really go into all that but if you are an it person then um, uh, as you are then um, you might have known already that uh, it's um, good to understand the, the new concepts like agile devops lean and so on i don't know if any of you are actually using devops already uh, particularly if you are in software okay so itil has been there for a long time if you see the history in the late 80s early 90s that's when it started it was a set of books version 1 eventually the number of books was reduced so these were based on a uh, from um, from various companies who got together as a community and published those books large you know it companies and service companies then eventually number of books were more structured and reduced and the more focus on strategy and design of the service and 2007 there was a major change uh, in terms of uh, having a life cycle approach Uh, how to start a service how to continue with it how to how to um, so how to strategize design transition it operate it and improve it so there were the five life cycle uh, phases of a service management and 2011 there were some minor improvements and corrections and some clarity given here so there was no, not much difference between this 2007 and 11 this is known as v3 this is known as 2011 version rather than v3 and now we have got uh, in practitioner in 2016 this was a set of principles which were introduced for uh, uh, people who were really working uh, hands on in it and then 2019 february onwards itil4 was published and uh, around end of last year they have published uh, the higher level modules and uh, now they have uh, one more module left uh, which is also coming up the digital uh, strategy related module so industrial revolution 4.0 you can call it okay so that ends this section